Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tower reader and intuitive Virgo. Okay, so I'm about to just hop straight into this because you are going to be getting a message, all right? Or you just got a message, Virg. And with the exclamation mark now, those who get the extended, you already know. This means there's a level of urgency. This person is trying to talk to you, Virg. <laughs> all right, not only talk to you, but they feel like they want to make up with you, okay? You've been on their mind a lot, and I feel like they've been stressed about what happened or how the relationship has gone between you two. So I'm going to get your energy, okay? Like, what the hell is this? Who is like, this person is coming off highly pressed, Virg. Okay, let's see what this is here. Yeah, okay, here's the hermit. Here you are in your energy. Seven of Cups, the Sun. Okay, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Four of Swords. So, Virg, this person is pressed, but you think about them as well. Okay, you're starting off this reading with a bang. I didn't even get a chance to do my intro, but this reading is it's giving juicy, Virg. All right, so the hermit. I feel like there's something that you start to realize about this person or you start to really, really put more attention to Virg and you say, you know what, let me just fall back. I'm just going to focus on me at this time because focusing on this was giving too much stress. Okay, because when you think about the Seven of Cups, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of distractions. And I feel like you felt like this person could have been a distraction from like I don't know. I feel like you were working on a lot of inner work, Virg. You were doing a lot of things that were like making you feel good. So you decided to kind of just turn your back to it. This person could have also made you feel like an option, all right? Because the Seven of Cups can also represent that as well. And you started to see like everything that you thought they were, perhaps they weren't, okay? Now we also have the Sun card here. So there was a sense of clarity that you got over this person. We have big Leo energy here. Somebody could be dealing with somebody born on May 8th, okay? I'm also getting July 9th. Now, with the sun card here, this is representing, like I said, clarity. But I feel like, Berg, there's something that's going to become clear. Okay, and I feel like, hmm. So, Virgo, some of you guys had a realization that you didn't want to, like, really look at for a long time. And you realize, listen, like, this shit is not going anywhere. I understand 222 in the time. Let me know if it's resonating. It's like, I understand that we didn't put a lot of effort in or we put a lot of time into this. But I just don't feel like it's giving me what I want it to give me. Okay, because with the Five of Pentacles, Virg, I feel like you felt like rejected from this person or you started to reject this, uh, this person. Okay, so take it as it resonates. But somebody definitely tried to have to figure out a different way to get to you or you had to figure out a different way to get to them. So when I say that, Virg, I feel like you had to be kind of strategic, okay, about how you spoke to them or just really how you presented yourself to them. Because with the Page of Swords here, it's talking about how you felt like you couldn't even really open up the way that you wanted to. Like you couldn't give to this connection the way you wanted to because perhaps they weren't giving to you. Virg, I need us to clean this energy up. Not on our birthday month and season. Absolutely not. Okay, because these readings lately, let me get more on this energy. What do you have your back turned to, Virg? Like what is this? Okay, so, okay, yeah, you have your back turned to the breadcrumbing, sure do. Okay, because with the Six of Pentacles here, Virgo, I feel like your person was spreading themselves out a little too damn thin. All right, they don't got enough person for all that giving. All right, and with the World card here, this is something you said, okay, we're going to wrap this up. So, Virg, some of you guys, I feel like, tried to move, been trying to move on from, uh, from this person for a minute, and it took you a while. It took you a few attempts, Virg, all right? I'm, <laughs> this is not giving it's your first time, all right? This is not giving it is your first time, but trust and believe, I understand. It takes a few times to really, like, you know, sayonara, all right? Peace out. But I feel like you kind of just really got tired of that. So, what is this that you were tired of? Okay, Ten of Pentacles here. But I'm the queen of wands. So part of you, oh, wow, Virg. So you could have got tired of this person, like, telling you that they were going to give you this or kind of giving you assurances that you would have a ten of pentacles. And you feel like it was all bullshit. Seven of cups. Okay, you felt like it was just things that they were telling you to keep you around, but not necessarily being able to do that for you. Now, I do want to mention, Virg, somebody's money is looking fantastic here. Let me know down below. All right, because we have the six of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, that's a whole lot of money. All right, so I feel like that's what you could be focusing on now, something that's giving you a return. Okay, give me more here, Spirit. Why is the Sun card here? What is this realization you had? Because you had some clarity, and I feel like you started to feel a lot better about this too, Virg, as time went on, right? I don't feel like you're as 
bothered about as you once were. Now, I'll just say you had some clarity. I feel like you started to realize like this person is not going to give me the respect that I deserve. They're not making me feel how I feel about myself. Because remember, Berg, the last few um, months, King of Pentacles, shout out to you. Male or female does not matter. But the way that you've been in your energy, the hermit mode, okay, and really stepping into your Queen of Pentacles, your King of Pentacles, that's showing that you are feeling seated on that throne of yours, that you've been created, you've created this for a long time. And it's like this person almost made you feel like, okay, they're my counterpart. So I'm going to open up to them or I'm going to at least open up to the idea of us being together. But then Virgo's like, oh, hell no. Nah. The way they coming at me or the way that they were treating you was not how you're treating you. So it felt like polar opposites. And that's beautiful, Virgo. Let's take a moment and just appreciate that. The fact that you can love yourself enough to know that somebody isn't loving you even as much as you love you. Okay, and that, that's no longer sufficient. Maybe in the past, but this Virgo here, nah. That's not how you're coming. Okay, that is not how you Look how the Queen of Pentacles popped out. That is not how you're coming. All right, why is the um, Five of Pentacles here, Spirit? Okay, why is the Five of Pentacles here? King of Wands. Okay, this person wasn't focused. They weren't focused on you, Virg. All right, just focused on love, relationships, period, because they're you're seeing them as a King of Wands. They could have been a fire sign. All right, but the King of Wands is also somebody who is a bit more focused on going outside, being with their friends, running their business, okay, being dominant. They're not necessarily focused on having a union at that time. Now, what's interesting is that we have the Four of Wands here. So they gave that energy, Virg, but wasn't able to keep up or maintain that energy. And I think that's the biggest issue that you have with them. Okay, it's like, don't be over here selling me dreams, selling me hope and shit. Okay, Page of Swords energy. Somebody, um... Bro, you could, you could still be watching this person on social media, <laughs> all right, hoping that things aren't going well, Virg, or, or you're watching this, okay? Or they could be watching you take it as it resonates. Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? Perhaps they DM'd you, Virg, or you're going to get a, a DM? Okay, yeah, after some silence. All right, you could be watching them, but it's like, you're not going to reach out, all right? I feel like part of you does want to, Virg, but there's a part of you that's like, nah, let's lay this to rest. I don't need to keep entertaining no bullshit because the longer and longer I entertain this, the longer and longer it's going to put off what's meant for me, star card energy, okay? The longer it's going to put off that healing. I don't need to go through any more towers. I don't want to go through any more bullshit with anybody. I just really want my person at this point because I am ready. Okay, why is the seven of pentacles here? King of Cups. Okay. So there was a lot that was put into this, Berg. And I feel like you you think about that. Like, you look at it and you like, damn, like, I really did all that. All right? Or we really did all that. Because I don't feel like this person was all bad the whole time, Berg. I feel like they tried to put in some effort. But then they, you know, you, you, te you tested them. You fact-checked them. And they didn't pass the test. Okay, and with King of Cups here, I feel like this was something like you started to have like the ultimate love for, especially if you're a divine masculine. Okay, like you really felt like, okay, I can see through this, we can fight through this, but then you stopped fighting for it, Virg, and I feel like that's where you guys kind of left it off. All right, now I'm going to, I feel like I got a good grasp, thank you, Spirit, of what the hell is going on. Now, I want to get your energy, um, you know, your person's energy, so Spirit, please calibrate the energy of Virgo's person, because we got message and, ma and makeup. So there's an urgent message. Like, it's urgent. Like, what is this? What is this message? Or what, why is this urgent, Spirit? Why is this so urgent? How is this person feeling toward my Virgo? Oh, Virg, look at this. You cannot make this up. Eight of Wands talks about fast forward movement message. As I said, why is this urgent? It's been a minute. Okay? This person feels like, listen, it's been too goddamn long, Virg. You playing, you playing now. All right? So I feel like you're starting to get under this person's skin. <laughs> Somebody's born on August 14th. Okay? Um could be a person i'm also getting sagittarius energy now with the chariot here now remember this only appears after some time of trying to figure things out really trying to get really trying to get a hold of what this meant to you both berg i don't know if this is new but i don't feel like it, it's very established of a connection okay let me know if that makes sense down below but with the chariot it's like we're getting movement now so what is this spirit what is this okay so I'm going to take that Ten of Cups, bottom deck, the Empress. Okay. So, oh, wow. Both of my dream state cards are on top of each other, the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this person is still having that those feelings toward you, Virgo. Like, cut and dry, that's what it is. All right, they're still feeling that energy with you. They're still feeling like they could have had that with you. And what's so, like, 
like what's so fucked up about this whole thing, Virgo, is that you felt like they kind of sold you a dream because you felt like you were headed toward a ten of pentacles. And they thought the same thing, but it's just like they're not ready for that. Or they're not able to give you that at this time. And they're still thinking with the ten of cups, like I want that emotional I want that emotional feeling with the Virgo. I want that depth with the Virgo, but yet it's like still more so in La La Land. It's not something that they're bringing to fruition here. All right, give me more spirit. Give me more on their energy toward the Virgo. Give me more on the energy toward the Virgo. Okay, manifestation, the magician. Okay, the magician also comes with the element of surprise. Okay, so the, the magician or this person um, could be Gemini energy. Is like cooking something up. I feel like this is not, this is not done, Virgo. All right, because you go from the 14 to the 1. So it's letting me know that there's some things that's still not really finished here. All right, give me more on this, Spirit, because what is this? What is this that they're trying to manifest with the Virgo? Or what are they thinking about trying to cultivate here? Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups. All right, so now we have a divine pair here, Virgo, both queen and king of cups. Take that out as it resonates. We also have the devil card energy representing Capricorn. Now, Virgo, I feel like this person continues to think about how much love you gave them or how much you gave to them freely. Virgo, this person is, is a damn fool. I'm surprised the fool card didn't pop out. Where is it, Spirit? I know it's somewhere. Okay, because the way that they're thinking, like they're being taunted at this time for not really taking the, the relationship seriously. I was going to say taking the conversation. So Virgo, you guys could have had a conversation where you expressed your emotions to this person and they didn't take you seriously. Okay, they didn't respond in a, in a loving manner or respond the way that you expected. Like, like I don't want to use the word expectation, but that, that was the energy that you guys were in at the time. And I don't feel like it was reciprocated. And now they keep thinking about that, Virgo. And I think we got that in your yesterday's read, like a conversation you two had. Okay, give me more here, Spirit. But they're silent. So what is this, Spirit? What are they trying to do? What are they going to do about this silence here? What is this? Okay, I'll take this one. All right, so the lover's card came out, Virgo. Okay, the Ten of Swords. So they're very aware that this is something that ended. And they're wondering if like, okay, maybe I should just let it be over. I know the Virgo doesn't want to be bothered with me. Now, remember, the Hermit was your first card. Remember, I said you have your back turned toward this bullshit. Now, it was so funny, Virgo. Look how the Hermit is here still. And your back is still turned toward the bullshit, toward the ending. Like, you know what? I'm done. I need a new beginning. So this person is wondering like, if you would even entertain them again. So I feel like there's a part of them that's apprehensive toward even coming forward, Virgo, because they feel like... I don't even know if she wants me anymore. But with the lover's energy here, that's like, you can't fake that. You know, lover's is, is lover's. That's that's significant of a deep bond here. All right. Now, this is um, also, we have the seven of cups right on top of the lover's as well. So there could have been ways that this person didn't make you feel prioritized. You guys were not in an official relationship. Okay. This did not feel like it was an official relationship. Could have been for some of you guys, but for most of you guys, no. This feels like a situation ship where nobody was quite... Um, where nobody was quite like a, in a full blown on connection. Now I also want to say this word, your person could be fearful. Okay. That you have other options that you're entertaining and that's also fucking them up. All right. They're, they could be jealous. All right. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more on this person's energy. What's making them want to make up at this time. Okay. What's making them want to make up with the Virgo at this time, spirit. Something flip over. Okay, no. What's making them want to make up with the Virgo at this time? Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Damn. Okay, so I'm, the first word I heard was desperation. They're, they're feeling desperate, Virg. All right, and with the Two of Pentacles, they can't stop thinking about it. They, they feel restless. They feel antsy. They keep going back and forth in their mind. Like, should I, should I allow myself to really express myself to Virgo? Or should I just say, you know what, fuck it and let it, and let it be? All right, that's literally what they keep thinking. And I feel like they're going to drive themselves nuts and have to take some sort of action to at least get, like your person, Virgo, I don't feel like you need any goddamn closure. Like you just, you might just leave the door closed and say, you know what, it is what it is. It's been real. But with the Knight of Swords here, I feel like there's part of them that does want to like fix this. Okay, give me one more spirit before I grab another deck. Okay, wow. See, that's why I love how spirit just comes through in the readings. King of Cups, clarifying the King of Cups. Okay, so, mm, Virg, I, this is the kind of person that they have to lose shit to realize what the fuck is going on here. All right, yeah, and I, 
Virgo, you see separation and then soulmate, they have to lose you in order to see the importance of the connection here. And I feel like you're tired of that. You don't want to keep hearing about that same old tune, Virg. All right? It's like you should have made the effort before. All right, so give me more on this person's energy toward the Virgo. Give me more on this person's energy toward the Virgo spirit. Okay, we have engagement. <laughs> Your love life is ascending to higher commitment. So that's how they're feeling about you, obviously, Virgo, that you could have really been the one or we could have really had a great connection. They keep thinking about how attracted they were to you and how playful and fun the connection was. Okay, very youthful, very fun. It doesn't matter even how old you guys were. I just feel like there's this energy with you two where you guys just like, just laugh a lot. Or you catch them looking at you. You guys smile at each other. All right, give me more on how this person is feeling toward the Virgo at this time more on how this person is feeling toward the Virgo look calling in your soulmate this came out so as we said in Virgo this came more over thank you spirit <laughs> this came more over the magician card and didn't we when, the, when I first pulled this card I said okay manifestation they're trying to manifest you back or thinking about how to get you back and now it's like they're pray, they're praying affirming visualizing now let's not be so dramatic Virgo right like so I don't necessarily see this person on the knees like oh my god bring Virgo back to me I mean shit they could but what, how I'm reading this, Virg, is that they're really thinking about how to get you back, how to call you back in. Okay, so I'm going to go into the extended and I'm going to get, um, oh yeah, they're trying to see, they're trying to be optimistic about it, Virg. All right, I'm going to get uh, this person's next steps and their intentions toward you, Virg, anything that they could have been hiding as well. So if you are interested in that, everything will be down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Virg.